In the last video, we saw that there was a need to share common functionality between components. And I mentioned higher order components will help us with that. But what exactly is a higher order component? Let's talk about that in this video. Let's begin with what is a higher order component. A higher order component, which will be referred to as HOC from now on, is a pattern where a function takes a component as an argument and returns a new component. In simple code, it would look something like this. Const new component is equal to a function called higher order component and we pass in the original component as an argument. Typically, an HOC adds additional data or functionality to the original component. So the new component can also be referred to as enhanced component. If you were to understand this from a non-technical point of view, you have Iron Man is equal to with suit passing in Tony Stark as a parameter. Here, Tony Stark is the original component, with suit is the function that will enhance Tony Stark and return Iron Man, which of course is the enhanced component. From React point of view, we have a function which accepts the original component, adds functionality and returns an enhanced component. Or in other words, we have the HOC pattern. All right, now that we know what the HOC pattern is, we can head back to VS Code and learn how to implement a basic HOC and then implement it for the counter example we had from the previous video. Let's start with the bare minimum code for an HOC. I'm going to create a new file called with counter.js. Not going to worry much about the folder structure. I'm going to create it in the components folder. With counter.js. The file name is an HOC convention, which we will discuss in a bit. Now let us create our HOC. First, let's import React. Import React from React. Next, let us create a function. The function will of course be an arrow function. Const updated component is equal to an arrow function. The HOC accepts the original component as its parameter. The HOC also returns a new component. So within the function body, let's create a new component. Class new component extends react.component. In a class component, the render method is a required method. But what do we render? We simply return the original component. So render and return the original component. Now that the new component has been defined, we return the new component in the arrow function. Return new component. And there you go. We have our very first higher order component. It is a function that accepts the original component and returns a new component. This HOC though, doesn't really add anything to the original component. Let's change that. On the original component in the JSX, I'm going to add a prop name is equal to Vishwas. Now to be able to use this HOC function, we need to export it. Export default updated component. Now let's apply this HOC pattern to our click counter and hover counter. In click counter, I will import updated component from with counter. And while exporting, I will call the updated component function passing in the click counter component. Let's do the same for hover counter as well. I'm going to copy this import statement, paste it in hover counter and export the updated component with hover counter. So what we are doing here is instead of exporting the click counter or the hover counter component, we export the higher order component. The HOC, in addition to being the click counter or the hover counter, 
now has a new prop called name. So in both the components, we can actually render this prop. So in the JSX, this dot props dot name and the same in hover counter as well. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the prop being rendered. Vishwas in the button and Vishwas in the heading. So our HOC injects a name prop to any component required. For our counter example though, that is not really what we want. We want the counter functionality to be shared amongst the components. So let's modify our HOC. I will copy the constructor and the increment count method from the click counter component into the HOC. So copy the code which has to be shared and paste it in the HOC. The count state and the increment count method is the common functionality we want to share. So the new component now maintains a count state and a method to increment that state. This is the common functionality we want to share. I will remove the same piece of code from both click counter as well as hover counter. This will avoid duplication of code. Now in the HOC, we need to pass down the state and the increment count method as props so that the original component can make use of that functionality. I will remove the name prop and instead add count is equal to this dot state dot count and increment count is equal to this dot increment count. We can now make use of these props in click counter and hover counter. In click counter, we are going to destructure count and increment count from this dot props. And I will get rid of the state. In the on click handler, it is now going to be just increment count. I will also get rid of the name that was being rendered. Now let's repeat the same for hover counter as well. Const count comma increment count is going to be destructured from this dot props. I will remove this keyword from on mouse over event handler and also the name prop. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser, you should see that both the counter components are working as before. But the difference now is that we are reusing code rather than duplicating it. That is what HOCs bring to the table. Let me go over the code one more time so that you get a proper understanding of how HOCs work. I will begin from app.js. Here we have included the click counter component. The click counter is defined in clickcounter.js file. Now over here, you can notice that we are exporting the updated component HOC passing in the click counter. The updated component is defined in with counter. Let's take a look at that file. The updated component is a function which accepts a component or an original component as its parameter and returns a new component. In our case, the original component refers to the click counter. The new component has functionality to maintain the state of a count property and also a method to increment that count property. Both of them are passed as props to the original component. The original component enhanced with these props are then returned. The control goes back to click counter where the count and increment count props passed in from the HOC are destructured and used in the return statement. So the HOC is basically taking care of maintaining the state and incrementing it. When you click on the button, the count is incremented and displayed in the UI.
The same execution flow also happens for the hover counter component. But what you should know is that both the components receive separate state. Incrementing the count in click counter will not affect the hover counter and vice versa. So that is how an HOC works. It is a function that accepts a component and returns an enhanced component. Now let's talk about the naming convention. The component and functions you typically see are different from what I have used. So let me change them. The function and the file name is usually the same. It indicates the functionality that will be added to the components. So const with counter and export the same. The original component is usually referred to as wrapped component. That is the component wrapped with the HOC. So let's change the parameter name and the return statement. The new component is usually the same as the function name but in Pascal case. So new component will be with counter and we will return the same. In click counter and hover counter we are going to change updated component to with counter which is the function name. With counter make sure to import it and repeat the same in hover counter with counter with counter you can now read the export statement as with counter functionality export the hover counter component now there is no rule which tells you to name your components or HOCs this way but this is kind of the convention used in most of the videos and articles we have two more points to discuss about HOCs but for now, just keep this in mind. An HOC is a pattern where a function accepts a component and returns an enhanced component. The HOC pattern is used to share common functionality between components without having to repeat the code. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.